And welcome to another edition of Talkline. I'm Zev Brennan coming to you on location from American Friends of a Hebrew University in conjunction with Ramaz presenting a special symposium, Healing the World, an evening and dialogue and discovery with the Hebrew University of Jerusalem in partnership with Ramaz Middle School in Manhattan. Professor Berta Lavave Sivan joins us. She's with the Robert H. Smith Faculty of Agriculture, Food and Environment, but she specializes in water and fish. So, and also travels to you again in other parts of the world. So, tell us about some of the work and fascinating work that you're doing. Okay. Uh, we have a very interesting project in, in Uganda, especially in Lake Victoria, where the Nile perch, which is a large, a huge predator fish, uh, was introduced in the late 1950s into the lake. And since it is a predator fish, uh, what happens actually is two, two things in parallel. First, there is many, all the, all the, all the Nile perch that uh, is around the world that is exporting to, the, to many other parts outside Africa is coming from Lake Victoria. The fish that we are eating, the Nile perch that you are eating in the Middle East, in America, in, uh, Af in uh, Europe, it all comes from uh, Lake Victoria. But what happens also is for the poor people that used to live around the lake and used to fish out carps in order to feed their children, there are no more, no more other fish, only... The fish has been depleted. It's been, de it's been depleted due to the, um, to the extreme eating of the Nile perch. And uh, we suggested the uh, Ugandans to grow these fish in uh, aquaculture, which is, which is agriculture of the water. So how do they grow the fish? We taught them how to induce the spawning, how to grow the fish, how to uh, feed them all the steps towards in order to close the life cycle of the fish in captivity and not in, not in the lake. And uh, four farmers of, uh, from Uganda came to Israel and uh, studied for a few months in a kibbutz how to do, it, to do this. And uh, since then, they are growing this fish in, um, in the farms. They are, they are growing these uh, carps in the farms in Uganda. And they, they sent to, to some villages some fingerlings, small fish, fingerlings of, the fi of these species. And uh, every, uh, well, it's a far away um, small village that usually is not connected to any electricity or something like this. They just make a large pond in the middle of the, of the village, uh, put these fingerlings of carp, and every few times a week, every mother will go out, will take out this fish, and they generally this is the main source of, or the only source of protein uh, for her children. Wow, so for the poor people in Uganda that the main the lakes have been depleted, so by controlling it on certain farms, they more, have more access to the fish for their families. They have access to, to fish, which is the only source, because uh, meat is very, very expensive. It's out of question. So this is the only source of protein that they eat. Wow, so doing very important work, feeding and making sure they have enough to eat using Israeli technology. Exactly. And you're teaching this at the university as well, the methods, the techniques. Yes, I'm working on uh, fish physiology, endocrinology, and the reproduction. And uh, we teach everybody, not only the, also Africans, but Israelis and uh, from so You have students from all over the world coming to learn these techniques. To learn, to learn these techniques they, that most of them were developed here in Israel. We're going to arrive at with our special broadcast, Healing the World from the American Friends of Hebrew University at Ramaz, right after these messages.